Hey folks, welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. We just got spanked had in our uh, second debut as an amateur fisherman on the Bass Tour. Uh, we were in, hell, I've, I've already forgotten the name of the lake, but wherever it was, we couldn't catch anything. We finished almost dead last, uh, which is in huge, uh, you know, juxtaposition from the tour how the how the tour started because we were in first place when the tour started um but we just got sent to a lake we knew nothing about uh the next lake <clears throat> the next lake in the tour is a, a place called sandy creek and that's going to be on lake travis and i think this is in texas yeah lake travis texas we're going to the sandy creek arm of it and we're going to uh we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of scouting right we're gonna be doing a little bit of scouting we're gonna try to find a place to uh to hook some bass um afternoon light clouds we got the boat love it let's start it let's start it yeah i mean it was it was bad it was it was bad bad um let's go right here in the middle i don't know i feel like the tournament doesn't let you pick where you're going to start from there's just i think it randomizes it maybe right like you draw a lot and it just says like, oh, you're going to start from here or start from there. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go off down this way first. Is it, can I bring up the map? I cannot. Okay. Um, we'll start off going down toward the, uh, the bottom here, just cruising around, uh, you know, just looking, just looking, just seeing what we see, just seeing what we see. Hey, okay, so what are we looking for, right? What are we looking for? Well, bass are opportunistic hunters. I've read this on on the internet. And do you see the weeds right there? Bass would like that. They like the weeds and the reeds. They like being in there. They like cover. And they like uh, ambushing prey. I, I just like how the, how the, uh, the camera will reset. Like if you're looking this way, like the camera just just goes back for you right i dislike that like i'm looking over here for a reason camera stop messing with me i don't care if i hit another boat um but bass opportunistic hunters uh i'm sure you can get out into an area where it's like deep water and you can look for them there but i'm looking for uh areas with a lot of cover so i'm kind of looking around the shore looking around these man-made structures uh, i'm seeing a lot of fish on the fish finder over here uh, which is great because the last place when we played the uh the previous uh that previous map we couldn't find as many fish as we're finding right here not that i remember i could i could i could be suffering from uh shock oh look at that big fish there holy moly yeah so going down this way i'm pretty happy uh with that little uh reconnaissance right there Kinda happy with this. I want to find some place though that's really heavy with reeds. Really heavy with reeds. And just maybe a tree in the water or something. You know, I want to find a place that's going to deliver. Look at all the big fish here. Whoo! Man, I like that. Wow, that's a lot of big fish. You know what? I'm I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. So many big fish right back that way. Let me just throw in the water here. What am I running? Yep, that'll work. And I'm gonna wanna try to use some of this new bait I have. Not new bait, these new lures. Get the trolling motor out. Get that going. Yeah. Start winding this thing in. actually took my daughter fishing today and man that was rough that was rough you know you, you complain about the hooks being getting caught on stuff but that's the point you know the hook is supposed to get caught on stuff you know like a fish <laughs> but man it can wear you out it can wear you out if it keeps getting stuck on the same Let's let that thing drop a little bit. Let's go down here to. Now I I you're gonna have to find a, like a real fisherman to tell you about the uh, 
you see how it says 24 here there's that that, that large dial it says 24 you're gonna have to find a real fisherman to tell you what that means hey what's that over there in the water you see that thing popping up did you see that there was a it was right over there you can't i can't point but it was off to the right of where the, the lure was and it was like something poking its head up out of the water like this and it went back down that was weird that was weird And see, now that we've stopped, the radar says no fish. No fish in the area, now that we've stopped. Hmm. Man, we were cruising right past just a bajillion. Bajillion. Fishes, and now it says not really. Now it says not really. Keep turning, come on now. Turn the boat around. We're just gonna go right up against the the bank here. Alright, now straighten her out. See that right there. Ah darn it. It'd be nice if the uh, if the better rods and everything, like if they uh, if if they give you more more of a chance to hit a perfect one hundred. You know, like this one might not be very good, and the reel might not be very good. It'd be nice if you can buy the better stuff, and it it actually has an impact on the game instead of just being more expensive. Little fish right there. Little fish right there. I just want to see if they're bass. Like, we ran over so many of them. I just want to see if they're bass. I don't think... I don't think you can set the, the fish finder to species. I think it just tells you if it's a fish. But while we were coming over here, we ran over a lot of them. Some great old big ones, too. And see, now we're kind of hitting them. We're kind of hitting back into it again. Now we're kind of seeing some more... Let this thing sink for a second here. This one usually sinks a little faster than this. Or maybe, or maybe it's so much deeper here that like it's sinking. Like this right here might be like all the way at the bottom when I normally do it. Might be a huge drop off or something. See, there it is. There's that thing popping up its head. See it? See it? Interesting. Interesting. That's an interesting fish. That's an interesting fish. Uh, I think maybe we can do that. That's the only thing is there needs to be a rudder amidships here so that I know I'm going straight. Ooh. Yeah, there are definitely some funky, uh, definitely some funky fish in this area. And I think it's all the way at the top. See, now I think this is where we need to have the deep diver. Right? Like, if it's this deep of water, like, this is where I think we need to have the thing that is going to, the lure that goes down deep into the water. Cause this one, this one, two feet deep. Like I don't think anything's gonna be there two feet deep. Like maybe, maybe. Okay, so I think we got it figured out. I'm, I feel pretty good. So here's the deal: if you, if you are at a place where it's like ten feet deep, then that lure, great. Or if you're at a place where there's a ton of uh, reeds, right, and it's like it's like five feet deep, that first lure we had i think that's what you would use right because that one doesn't dive at all it stays pretty much on top of the water and you only have 10 feet anyway so you really don't want it to to quote quote dive this one this one 
right? This one is a diving lure. Like this one is 100% going to dive and it needs to because the, the, the fish here, like they're deeper, right? Like we're already at 16 feet and we're not, we're nowhere near the bottom, right? The only thing with this is I, I don't know how to, to get it to stay at like 16 feet of water, like how to get it down to 16 feet and then keep it there and pull it across that 16 foot, um, layer that I want it to stay at. Yeah, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to make it do that. I'm trying to use the trolling motor to help. Ooh, look at that. Two perfect casts back to back. I'm trying to use a trolling motor um, to get that constant. See how it says constant, it's red. And if we keep pulling it, it gets better and better and better. Like that's, it looks good to the fish if it's green, right? So like right now, it, it looks almost like irresistible. But I gotta figure out a way to slow it down because I'm just pulling it in too fast. Maybe the motor should be off. Maybe the motor should be off for this one. Oh. Maybe. Let's bring that in. Let's do a cast with the motor off. Okay, motor off, we're going at two at 25. Let's see, it just keeps diving all the way to the bottom. Hmm. Interesting, and it just comes back up. And that was at 90. That was at 90. 95. Okay. Hmm. All right, we got to play to our strengths, man. The what I'm most comfortable with is shallow water, that first lure. Like that's what I am familiar with, that's what I like. Okay, I think we're going to have to play to our strength. We're going to have to find some place. Let's get out of here. Let's find some place that's shallow that I can I can fish just like I fished that first lake. Right? Right? I mean, that makes, makes sense to me. See, how many fish are here now? It's like, oh, you've, you've hit a gigantic school of, of big fish right here at the edge of that and I, I don't know I don't know some shallow water here maybe I feel like we don't want to get up in there hey here's some shallow reeds But here are some reeds. I don't know if they're going to be shallow or not. Okay. A couple of fish here. Let's go to this. And, and you know, let's just, let's just try it. There's a piece of wood sticking out of the water. So maybe there's a lot of... Maybe there's just a lot of... Uh, I think just went right to the bottom. See, it's only four feet. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's already at the bottom, but it's four feet at the bottom. So it's not really, you know, quote, quote, at the bottom. Oh, was that a... There's a bass right there, man. It was right there at that log. I just saw it. It was on top of the water. It... Okay, I went, I went the same way as the... I, I understand the strikes now. There was a little pro tip that came up. And what you need to do is when the when the fish takes the bait if it runs to the left you need to pull the right like i did but see that one the reason why it was a poor strike is i pulled to the left and it ah bless it and it went to the left that's why it was poor had i pulled to the right instead of pulling to the left i think we would have had that 
But hey, you know what? I mean, it, I feel good about this because we're in our... It's kind of our element here. There's that bass right there. See him at the... There's two. All right, perfect. Perfect. Hey, folks, I think we have our first... We have our first uh, area here. It's at the bottom part of the map. Sandy Creek Arm. You know what? I bet during this... I bet during this uh, this tournament, because it's the Sandy Creek, I bet we're going to be down here in the bottom part of this map. So this is a good place for us, I think. I just want to land this thing right here and see what I get. Make sure it's a bass. It is a bass. Yeah. That is probably spotted. Nope, largemouth. Nice. And I got level 7 out of that. Nice. Perfect. Okay. We're figuring some things out here, folks. We are figuring some things out. That lure we have is really good for shallow water. Okay. Very, very good for shallow water. So, uh, during the tournament, we need to find places like this that have uh, wood, it has reeds, it's shallow water. It will be looking at the inlets. The inlets. But let's go, let's go do one more, two more little areas and just do some reconnoiter and then uh and then i think we'll be ready for the tournament and out here where it's like super duper duper deep maybe that's where we want to throw that oh look how big that fish is man that's huge tons of fish right here oh look at that little place that's weird it's like a boathouse to be or something got a gas truck there that's cool that's cool. You're not on the ramp, brother. <laughs> there's, a, there's a ramp right there. I don't know why you're off to the side of it. This is a nice little shallow place here. Uh, with some reeds up against it right there. That's nice. Big fish right there, looks like. Big old fish right there. I know these little boat ramps. A lot of boat ramps here. More shallow water. Some Some rocks, it looks like. Looks like some... Reads back in there. Okay. Now let's just keep going all the way to the bottom here in case the Sandy Creek, right? In case it's like super duper down here at the bottom of the map. You know, that's where the tournament's going to, if it's going to force us to be down here somewhere. You know, this is deep water here. This is not where we would want to fish. Big fish here, though, man. Tons of big fish. What about here? What about here? That looks okay. That looks okay. Alright, let's cut across. Let's go to the other side of the, the lake. Or the river. Yeah, I just kind of noticed all the uh, all the compartments that this boat has, but there's no place to... I guess this is a fishing boat. You're going to want a nice, flat platform to fish off of. And I suppose they'd have a little place where you could... Like a cup holder, you know, you could, you could like move the little top and put a pole in for a seat. Little island right here. Looks like it has a lot of fish around it. Gets a little shallow. We'll come over here to this side. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was reeds. A lot of big fish right over here, though. Just not very shallow like we like. Takes a second to get this boat going, I'll tell you that. Move, move, move. All 
right. Now look at this. Doesn't this just look kind of... I love... This is what I'd like to see is more places where no... Uh, like it's just not allowed to have a house. You know, like no development allowed. Had some big fish back there as we came in. We got some big fish here. I don't see any place to hide though. Is the problem? I don't see really any reeds or wood or anything. A lot of big fish here though. It says. I, mean, I don't even know if I believe it. I don't even see anything here. Well, let's just go back the way we came here. Let's, let's get that trolling motor out. Let's start it up. Turn it a little bit. And let's just try to go back the way we came. With a cast and see. Just see. Uh... Yeah, having a. There we go. Just turn us. There we go. Just like that. Oh, you can. That's three. I don't know if we want to do three. Might be a little too quick. Might be a little too quick. Yeah, see, now I don't see the, the fish like we saw at the other place. You know how the other place we could see them? Near the surface of the water? Like the other place I like a lot. But this one, you know, we got pretty close to land over there. And they had some pretty big fish pop up on the radar. I mean, you saw it. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Oh, I can use my mouse wheel for that. That's cool. I have no idea what that does. No idea what that does. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing any fish near the surface, nor am I seeing them on the radar now. Someone tell me what a line clip is, by the way. I've, I've not, I, I keep seeing that L for line clip, but I just don't, I'm so nervous to even, to even try to push it. Nice. There was another game I was going to get. Another fishing game where you had like this x-ray vision and you could like look under the water and see the fish. But I, I think this is, a, I think this is game is pretty good. I think they got it here. Learning how to set the strike. That's pretty, that was, that was, that was a huge pain. But like now I think I got it and it makes a lot of sense. You just got to do it the opposite way. You see the movement. Ooh, that's a big, big fish. And everything is here too. Like everything is here. Like, like pull. God bless it. Oh, I was just to say, like if you pull the rod and the rod is bending, you'll lose the fish. <laughs> I was trying to be too aggressive with it. Trying to be too aggressive. Too aggressive. Ah. Oh. Too aggressive. So I guess that's what you do with this. I think you throw it and you, you leave, it, leave it be. Let it sink to what depth you want it to sink to. And then you start reeling it in. 
and then you know it'll it'll kind of sink a little bit and you can you can play with it a little you know to try to keep it where you want it there we go yeah, here let's turn off the motor this is this is pretty much where we saw those fish and this is the flat this is the uh shallow water the big old fish Let it drop a little. And I just think about it. Like you go to a, a swimming pool and the 10 foot part, we're coming up on nine foot now. So this thing right here is 10 foot deep, right? So that's, that's, that's 10 feet. That's all the way at the bottom of a swimming pool, right? So just kind of keep that in the back of your head about how deep, deep that is. Could not tell you what this fish is doing. It's a littler fish, or littler, excuse me. It's a smaller fish. Ah. Man, these are these are hard to land here. I like how he jumps up out of the water every now and then. That's kind of cool, but I'd rather you get in a boat. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow. Look at that. That's a largemouth bass right there. Look at the color. Look at the color, man. Seven pounds. Wow. That's cool. Okay, look, I think we got two places here. I think we got two places so far that, that we're okay with. I think this place isn't that bad, and then I think the place across the water over there that has the piece of wood and the, the reeds, I think that place is okay, right? So if we get thrown down here in the Sandy Creek Arm, and look at the map, see how it says Sandy Creek Arm? And I believe we will be thrown in down here because it's the Sandy Creek Open, then I then we would just hightail it right over there to that part. That's that's my primary. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. My primary is right over there, uh, where the reeds and the uh, and the log were. But that that down there that's actually pretty good too. I like it. I like that too. Thank you for constantly moving the camera. And now up here, we're coming up to Long Hollow. So I don't know if we should even go much further north than this. Because we might be, you know, doing a reconnoiter on a place that we can't get to during the open. I just want to find another place with some reeds. Like that right there. Just like this right here. And I'm going to fish this right now. Now here's 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 my here's my thinking. If you throw it and then you have to wait. Like if you throw it and then you had to wait for it to sink and then pull it in, that's just time. That's just time that you're wasting. Like here, I can just throw it and I can start pulling it immediately because I'm already on the bottom. I'm already at the depth that I want. I just got to make sure that there's going to be fish there, you know what I mean? Like that's it. I just gotta make sure that fish are gonna show up here at these reeds. And if it's bass, bass should be living in these reeds. Now I can't run over it like I did with the boat and scare them all off and expect to immediately come up with some fish. I'll have to give it a second for them to come back, you know, and let things settle down. But that's what the trolling motor is for. We get in close. They turn the motor on and we creep in on them. We get close enough, we just turn it off. Four strike. That one should have been straight back. That one that one should have been this way instead of off to the right or left because he was taking the bait away from me. What is that? 
Oh, 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 oh. little smallmouth bass, probably. Because it's green. Yeah, smallmouth bass. But, you know, hey, every little bit, every little bit helps. Is there more reeds in the grass? Nope. This is the only place I've seen reeds. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. See what I got. See what we get. Okay, I meant I meant two more times. I meant two more times. And then I'm gonna drive back over to the other side and just make sure I remember where that um I'm gonna make sure I remember where the uh the wood and the uh that other place, that first hot spot we went to. What is that thing? That is not a bass at all. What? A catfish? A catfish? A channel catfish. Look at that. 21 or 2 pounds. That's cool. That's that's a lot of fish for only 2 pounds. 34 inches? It'd be a little bit skinnier than that. A little bit skinnier than that. Okay. That's cool though. All right. Bring it back over here and just I just want to make sure I know where it's at. I got two places I'm going to fish now. Pretty happy with that. I just want to make sure I know exactly, exactly where that that first place we went to is. It'd be nice if you could put a little marker down. See, I hate to drive and then be like, oh, it's right here, and it not be in this one, it be in the one right down the way. I think it is in this one, though. Pretty sure it's in this one. Just want to be sure. Yeah, I think it's right there. All right, now, none of you come here to this spot. This is my spot. <laughs> yeah, there's my spot right there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, folks, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you. And the next time we meet, it should be during the uh, the tournament, the Sandy Creek Open. And hopefully we'll do better than next to last place. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it might have been a little bit boring starting out because we were just driving around and I was yammering on. But thank you for staying with it all the way to the end. And I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you have some friends, maybe they'll have the same interests as you. And you can introduce this channel to them on my behalf. I'd be very appreciative. Thank you and bye-bye.